So I'm gonna order this one. It's for the GY6 125, but uh, I, it seems to be with this working for 50 cc. Uh, Kimco also. It says Kimco anyway in the headline there. So yeah, should work five wire. So you can see the measurement they got in here. Seems to be just about right. It's not exactly the same here in the top, but I think this will work. I could just uh, connect the cables together, but this is more serious. Looks better. So now I've ordered it. It would take a month about, so we'll just have to wait. One eternity later. So did I order the right thing? No. So I was watch going for this and this is the correct and this has the right place. So I thought it was correct. But as you see this is much longer. This is the original that is cut. So maybe I just solder them together. I can't use this right. Have to reuse the old one. Sorry. Hmm. Doesn't look too good, right? Why doesn't it work? So it's been locked. Yeah, that function is working. So it puts in a there. So it. Yeah, I decided to cut this cable and use the other side and solder it to the old one. Since this will fit, it only has a bit of somebody has been there. A screwdriver or something. Yeah, so I've just soldered them and put some shrink tube on it. And hopefully it will work now. So let's mount the ignition. Can I just attach this? Maybe I should uh, get the plastic on. So we have this. And we slide this on. And then And this is just like that. And now it's there. So, you get the locking position here. So, if I push it down, it's in lock position. And then just normal can turn it and then on up. Nice. Hopefully it will work. I'm gonna replace the petcock valve on this fuel tank. I think it's not working correctly. I will replace it and then uh, how do you remove it? Well, I'm, my plan is to to turn it a bit and first and then uh, of course empty the fuel 
But to get the tank to move, then I have to remove this, I believe, since there are some, some <clears throat> nuts and bolts down there. And then this you might have to remove. But that should be it. Shouldn't be too hard. So this, I've removed this in a short video showing how to check the lights. But it's just these, these two, and then uh, these, and then these. So I believe uh, six in total. So it was just this, as I said, these six screws here. And then you could put that away. So let's continue with this. These four bolts. And uh, that maybe something in front here. Yeah, you get those two also. But that should be it. Same on this side. Yeah, the bolts are moved. So we can just lift this away. So normally you get uh, this mechanism there, but I've already removed it. So that's one step you have to do. It. But uh, yeah, it's these bolts. So I just remove them, and then I think the tank is loose. So I'm gonna empty the tank now. And right now, this is the vacuum line. There's no vacuum there, but still, it's leaking. So the pet cook, pet, pet cook valve is not working. And if I suck on the pet cook valve, nothing happens. And this isn't uh, this is a pretty slow uh, sink, so I think we'll do good replacing it. On this bike, it's an M16 with 1.5 thread, so uh, I believe that's the same as the GY6, at least the 50 cc's. I think even the 125 cc. Petcocks are the same, so I'm gonna replace it. I'm using a diesel parking heater tank. It's about five liters and I hope it can take the inside. And then I have put a, a petcock closer valve here, and just in case, uh, also sort of strangle this one but so far I've tried it out before and it's not leaking so I've emptied the gas so see if we can get this If this will fit, looks like this. So if it fits, then uh, it's, you can attach this first, so it's quicker to get it on. And it starts drop, dripping. This one.
Try to put it the same side, same way it was before. Tighten it down. That should be it. And then move the the other one. Pretty greasy. Got the O-ring there. Let's check out the the oil level. So it's here. And that's why it sometimes flashes. Because there isn't, the oil isn't there, right? So I'm gonna clean that up a bit and then put it back. So this is the one you should see there. With the oil stick there. The tank is in place and uh, you align everything and tighten it a bit extra. And hopefully it feels, uh, it's tight now, so I'll start putting back this fuel into the tank and uh, we'll see if uh, it's holding without vacuum, if it's leaking or whatever, we'll see. So I'm filling the tank here, pretty primitive but I can't see any leaks, so looking good so far. Try that piece soon when we fill it up a bit, a bit more. Yeah, it's great to have this extra tank with this petcock valve. So the gas tank is, uh, the fuel tank is quite filled and I've disconnected the fuel there and let's turn it on and see what happens. Before we had a leak there. Nothing so far. So that's how it's supposed to be. And when I pull the, the vacuum, I'm gonna suck here with my mouth, yeah. You can't see it. You see it comes, so and it stops when I don't suck. So it's at least working, but I don't know if it's th that was the problem. I'm getting more skeptical now. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Is there some screw lacking there? No. Sorry, I didn't film it right. So should it be something there? I turned that. That was out three, three laps. 3 RPM, something like that, now it's 2.5. So we'll see if that makes any difference. I don't know what else it could be. Have to clean it again otherwise. Okay, so that's how you do the, replace the petcock valve, whatever you call it. No leaking, everything's fine. Okay, check out my other scooter videos and hit me with the like and subscribe button. And uh, there will be more videos like this. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.